is helminthic therapy? The idea behind helminthic therapy is that our loss of helminths, our intestinal worms in modern society, has made us susceptible to certain kinds of diseases. Um, autoimmune diseases, allergic disorders, digestive disorders, and even neuropsychiatric disorders now we believe are connected with the loss of our intestinal worms. The effects of that are probably still increasing in the population generation after generation. So helminthic therapy is just an attempt to put the helminths back in. It sounds a little bit too good to be true to someone who's used to the pharmaceutical industry, but just think of it as more of normalizing your system, similar to exercise and a healthy diet and stress reduction. Essentially, you could think of it as a probiotic worm, although that's technically a, an oxymoron or a misnomer or something because probiotics by definition are bacteria. With IBS and SIBO, you would, you would think that if you, if you have a benign helminth, it wouldn't hurt. Explain me what are the different kinds of worms we can use. There's three worms in common use, the TTO, the TSO, and the HTC. You just take them orally. You drink it? Yep, you drink it. So you put it's, it in water? Uh, you put it in almond milk or Kool-Aid. Some people even mix it with beer. Now the other type of worm, you have to put a patch somewhere on your skin. A lot of people used to use the forearm. I think they're switching to the feet now. Um, which is probably a very good move. That's naturally how it probably would be obtained in most cases by stepping in, you know, somewhere where the worms exist. But how does it actually help the immune system? So they produce their own molecules. They produce dozens of molecules and each worm is producing different ones. We don't know what all those molecules are right now. And it's interesting for us to think about, but since we already know the worms will work, number one, and we know that people are suffering, you know, maybe we should, we believe, it's our opinion, we should go ahead with the therapy and then later on if we want to, we can figure out exactly what's going on. Then we can maybe work to engineer a better worm or to cultivate a better worm, something like that.